the thing are seeking help at some homeless shelters across the area than ever before. Ever before, yeah. KTK's Annabelle Tuggle discovered this issue after speaking with staff at a shelter in Tyler and Longview. Mm -hmm. She explains what they believe might be the cause. There's lots and lots of causes, um, and we're just trying to help as best we can. <laughs> Brian Livingston says the Highway 80 rescue mission in Longview has always been dedicated to helping any homeless person that walks through their door. And when the organization was first founded in 1955, that was mainly middle-aged men, but it changed. We noticed about 10 years ago that women and children um, needing assistance, that, that number was growing. So. Now he is once again seeing a new transition in the people seeking their help. We've seen a, a kind of a, a larger number of younger individuals 18, 19, up to about 25. And this shelter isn't alone. Gateway to Hope and Tyler has also seen a steady increase in younger people, according to lead case manager David Stevenson. There are young homeless that are coming in by groves. Stevenson explains many of these young people say they were kicked out of their homes. Broken homes violence in the homes, abuse in the homes. He believes these broken homes are increasing because people are becoming more self-focused. So he says there is a solution. We need to start praying more. We need to start loving more. We need to start really opening our eyes and helping more. And Livingston agrees, saying with divorce rates up and more children being put into foster care, it shows how many family units are broken. Our just society in general has kind of fallen away from the, the traditional values that our country was founded on. But while both Livingston and Stevenson may speculate why this is happening, they're both focusing on their goal to set up these young adults for success. In Longview, Annabelle Tuggle, KTK News. Family should be everything but this note. Out of the many shelters we spoke to about the story, the one that said they were not seeing an uptick in younger people, the Salvation Army in Tyler.